April 26. The Story of Our Lady of Good Counsel Devotion to Our Lady of Good Counsel is associated with the story of a miraculous icon. The sacred image is found in a church in Giazzano, a beautiful town 30 miles southeast of Rome. The church dedicated to the Mother of Good Counsel was built there in the 4th century. In the year 1356, the church was given over to the Augustinians. Restoration started in the year 1467, when a widow, Petruchia, sold all her belongings to help finance the project. However, funds ran out before the task was completed. That same year, all the residents of Genizano heard a beautiful melody coming from heaven. As they looked up, they saw a white shining cloud that descended on the church of the Mother of Good Counsel. The cloud gradually vanished, revealing a beautiful painting of Our Lady tenderly holding her divine son in her arms. Immediately, Mary began to cure the sick and grant countless graces. The news spread throughout the country. Two Albanians from Scutari appeared in the town with a curious tale. They had fled from their homeland to escape the invading Turks. Before fleeing, they had stopped in a church and had seen how the icon of Our Lady, wrapped in a white cloud, lifted off the wall on which it had hung for two centuries. They followed the picture until they could see the towers of Rome, when it suddenly disappeared. The mysterious icon was identical to the one in the church in Scutari. The amazing news reached Rome. Pope Paul II sent two bishops to investigate the story. The prelates reported that 171 miracles were recorded in the months following the icon's appearance. The Pope's commission also found that there was an empty space on the church wall at Scutari. An icon that had been venerated there for centuries was indeed missing. The image was painted on a sheet of plaster so thin that it could have been impossible for any human hand to remove it without damage. It had survived the subsequent centuries through the tumult of several earthquakes and withstood the bombing during World War II. Several altars were destroyed, walls caved in, and the roof was crushed. The icon only yards away from the explosions remain intact. In the year 1753, Pope Benedict XIV established the pious union of Our Lady of Good Counsel to promote devotion to Mary under this title. Pope Leo XIII added the title of Mother of Good Counsel to the Litany of Loreto. Pope Pius XII dedicated his term of office to Our Lady of Good Counsel. The icon at Genizano is about a foot wide and 18 inches high. It depicts a mother figure that is half turned toward her son and half toward the viewer, reflecting Mary's concern for both Jesus and his church. If our Blessed Mother is willing to ask her son to work miracles to let us know of her motherly concern, Our Lady of Good Counsel is certainly willing to speak words of advice and instruction to help us over the hurdles of our daily lives. Our Lady of Good Counsel, pray for us.